Okay, so very important yung sa obstetricians yung orient, orienting your patients, ano, para hindi naman yung pabalik-balik sa pagpunta sa ospital. No? So you instruct your patient by saying that, you know, you monitor your contraction. Kung halimbawa nakakaramdam na sila ng contraction, usually it starts from here, sa, yes, anterior wall, tapos pumupunta ng balakang, no? And usually, pagka yung, lab, yung, yung contraction niya yun would last uh, mga ilang seconds, no? Tapos after five minutes, magre-relax. Tapos after five minutes, may contraction na naman. So pagka ganito for two hours, then ready to go na. But sometimes, ang nauna may water na lalabas. Oo, no? bisag dugo pa nga. Uh -oh. So pag so, lumabas na yung tubig, nag... Na ano din, don't panic, take okay. a bath first and then go to the hospital. Kasi ano din yun eh, yung bag of water, parang membrane, pro cellophane protection yun, the vagina is not clean. Mm -hmm. So, you know, may access na yung bacteria to go up. But you can the, still actually take a bath. You yes, so oh, okay, don't panic. Pa, kasi usually yun, maliit pa lang yung, uh -huh. ano, yung, uh, yung opening ng cervix. So, take a bath and then go to the hospital. No? Okay. And then, yun nga, pagka may bloody show na, kasi ibig sabihin din nun, parang nag, nag, bumubuka na din ng cervix. No? Pagka may, may bloody discharge ka na, then you go to the hospital. Okay, mm -hmm. Doc, what is the proper mindset ng isang babae pag naglilabor na? Okay, dapat positive, di ba? Kaya nga very important. Kaya mo yan. Oo, uh, very important yung role ng doctor niyo, ng obstetrician, kasi yung preparation. And of course, yung support system ng husband and the family. Yeah. So diba? that's the mindset. Mm -hmm. Praying all the all time. All right. Of course, you always emphasize it. Kasi <laughs> sa panganganak, it's always an emergency. Anything can happen. Yes. So very important also to emphasize that na prayer partners tayo ah. habang nagle-labor <laughs> hanggang sa dulo no so, all the way support system mm -hmm. tapos yung uh, you relax mm -hmm. tapos kaya mo yan think mm -hmm. that you can do it as pray yes what about the physical preparation Okay. Para mapadali yung labor. Kaya na, yoga, will it help? Well, may mga exercises ano, na makakatulong. No? Yoga, walking. No? Pero sabi nga nila, kahit nakahiga ka, kung gusto na ng baby lumabas, lalabas. Diba yung iba kahit na mag-jogging, mag-aerobics, ang tagal naman. Kasi oh. di ba you wait from the 37th week up mm -hmm. to the 40th week. Halos isang buwan ka naghihintay, oh. di ba? <laughs> yung iba naman, sedentary ang lifestyle. Pero pag gusto niya na mag-birthday, then, kaya nga ang OB ang hirap kasi wala kaming time. So, we don't know when labor would really start. Up to now, question mark pa rin, when will labor start? So, ano ano yung mga advice na ibinibigay mo sa yung mga pasyente, mm -hmm. yung mga alternative things to do while uh, nandun sila sa proseso na naglilabor sila para, you know... And uh, nasa hospital na. Nasa hospital okay. na. At sige, mm -hmm. pwede rin sa bahay muna. Di ba yung first phase okay. ng labor? Oo, oh, kung hindi hospital, pa kasi, sa bahay muna. Oh, oh, kung yung hindi pa ganun ka-regular ang contraction, mm -hmm. Relax lang, no? So, you try to listen to good music, no? Nood ng TV. Oo, nood ng TV. Tapos, massage-massage eh. ng ah. husband. Saan lang part pwede i-massage? Kasi, di ba, yung iba daw na parts hindi pwede? Or any part any pwede? Any part okay. pwede, oo. Oh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pag nasa hospital na, ano oh, pag na yung nasa pwede hospital, gawin na pasyente? It depends. Kasi kung lamas ka, syempre, all the way, your, your husband, your coach would be with you. Pero kung ikaw naman yung you prefer with anesthesia, yung epidural, which is masarap din kasi, you know, you're into a labor na wala kang mararamdaman pag nasa active phase ka na, well, how do you relax? Well, if you're in the birthing room, remember this room, yeah, Tintin? I remember first, that, yes, na naganap dito. You know, dito. patient oh, who Pero uses this labor room. Ang daming alternative things sa pwedeng mm -hmm. gawin. Nandiyan mm -hmm. ang television set, yes. nanonood ako ng relaxing movies, okay. cartoons pa nga yata, <laughs> yung mga waves crashing sa mm -hmm. shore, mm -hmm. soothing music. Pero sa birthing room lang yun, pwede ba yan sa regular delivery room, yung makikinig ka sa iPod, okay. Walkman. Uh, they can bring their books. Kasi meron kami dito din yung high-risk pregnancy unit mm -hmm. kung saan yung mga pasyente, may mga cubicle, meron silang sariling fetal monitor, may monitor para sa mom. Mm -hmm. the, you know, the husband could stay with them. And so they can, may TV, television din doon. They can bring their iPod, they can bring their gadgets, no? Uh -huh. Doon naman sa aming regular labor room, um, they can bring books, no? Ah, but they're not allowed mm -hmm. to bring iPods or TV. Some, hindi, uh, hindi, hindi. hindi. Yan ang difference, oh. <laughs> Dito uh, sa, at least, I'm talking about mm -hmm. St. Luke's. Mm -hmm. Difference between the birthing mm -hmm. room, ito. Itong birthing room kasi parang all-in-one, oh, dito na kayo, <laughs> no? Lahat. Dito oh. ka na din mga, dito ka magla-labor, dito ka mga anak, and dito ka magre-recuperate, oh. Lahat, dito na eh. Tapos you go home. in, dito mm -hmm. ka rin magbe-breastfeed. So, mm -hmm. yun ang main difference pala. Uh, pero ngayon kasi, St. Luke's is mother-baby friendly. So, after delivery, talagang we encourage the baby to be with the mom. Ah. 